welcome back to another vlog guys well today is not going to be a vlog as such and um, we're just going to sit down and have a chat with you guys it's been just over a year now now we've uh, finally moved to thailand and we've we've lived here for over a year now and uh, a lot of people said we wouldn't even make it three months <laughs> let alone six months let alone a year and uh, we just wanted to sit down, have a chat, uh, update you guys on how we're doing, what plans we have, and yeah, just general chit chat really. I'm not crying, it's so bright out here, <laughs> my eyes are watering, yeah, we, oh, I miss home! <laughs> we had to swap places, because <laughs> the sun's coming this way and Camilla was sat here because we started the video and we had to redo it because she started crying. <laughs> oh, I miss England so much. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Has it been after a year? It's, it's more important to ask you because you know, you're, the, you're the farang here, aren't you? So. <laughs> Put me on the spot. Well, you said you were ready. <laughs> this, this is the video. You're supposed to have a chit chat. Ready, not for an interview. I don't know what you want me to say. I'm going to say how you feel, is it? How, how, how are you feeling? Are you enjoying Thailand after a year? Are you having fun? Do you want to go back home? I'm having fun. Answer the questions. I'm just taking life day by day. There's no worries, no stress. We've got our things, haven't we? We know what we're doing, getting things settled now. We've obviously moved a lot since we've been here because the farm was sort of a test for us. Like, do we actually want to stay in Thailand? Do we want to live in Thailand? And what lifestyle do we want in Thailand? And obviously your mum had the land and we said, just let us go, let us try. Mm. And we enjoyed that lifestyle, we really did but not for right now. The kids are too young at the moment. It's a bit dangerous on the farm for them. It just doesn't generate enough money to sustain our lives. So going down a different path now. Moved to Bangkok, got all the important stuff sorted, all the legalities, got married, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And now we're in Surin. This is where we want to settle for the time being, at least for long term now, isn't it? For however long until we decide or until we're ready to buy our own plot of land, build our own house, and start proper, afresh, our own life. Meanwhile, before we moved, your farm was a way of moving. You know, if, if anyone had the opportunity of moving and you've already got a place there, you would go and, and stay there, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. And obviously, once we moved to the farm, we tried to make it work, and we set up the chicken business. You know, everyone knows the backstory of the farm. Yeah. I won't go in too much into it, but it, it's more of a place where we, we knew we had before yeah. we moved here. It was our yeah. starting point, wasn't it? And that was yeah. to decide whether we did actually want to stay and live in Thailand. Because we could have and just gone back to the UK, couldn't we, if we didn't enjoy it? That was our yeah, We'd have been back work. ages ago, yeah. I mean, all, all the money. Uh, we, we, we had like a couple of comments saying, oh, you, you vloggers are cheap Charlies going around. Like being a cheap Charlie. You know? But you're supporting local businesses. If it's cheap, it's cheap, but. Yeah, we're buying offenders, but. There's no need yeah, to in, waste money. In terms of spending money, we spent a load on the farm. We all know like, doing the ditch and buying lining, building the chicken hawk, getting the chickens in, buying the fish. It ain't cheap, you know, like kitting out the house. Well, so we so furnished that, that, yeah, that in the first few days. That's, that's a load of money just spent there. H hundreds, hundreds of baht, hundreds and thousands of baht even. <laughs> My initial visa was very expensive. Sorting out visas or the legal documents. It's all expensive stuff. Yeah. And then you know, moving places, paying for the condo. So yeah, after just... these days, I want a 40 baht Pagra Power. I will. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not cheap Charlie. We just have to prioritise where we spend our cash because you know, cash is not unlimited for us. Mm. But, but we're trying to work it out. You know, we're out here trying to figure things out. And for our new upcoming project which you'll find out about soon we're gonna but post that tomorrow so we're gonna a announce lot of it money time and effort into that as well so hmm. we've not just been sat around doing nothing and being cheap or whatever we're, we've been <laughs> working behind the scenes we've got things going on so yeah, it's funny because I, I i wear the same clothes i don't i don't really buy like new clothes unless i this have to this is from diggy diggy gave me a load of hand -me -downs. <laughs> this is probably got like yellow stains food stains I'm that ca car, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I won't get my hair cut un unless I need to. So. Yeah. so maybe I am a cheap Charlie, but in terms of things I need to spend on, I will spend on. Yeah. You know, if, if my kids need something, no problem. If, if my kids want ice cream, I'm going to get them ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. We're just not materialistic as such. Like, yeah. We don't need those things to be happy. Uh, all the money we spent, we could have probably got a nicer new car. Mm. But we chose to drive an old Nissan Sony that's on its last legs. We could have done a lot of things with it, with the money that we spent, but 
call us cheap Charlies, I think that's a bit unfair because I think we spend a lot of money, <laughs> if not nearing a million baht for the past year. At the end of the day, as long as you're happy, healthy, you're clothed and you've got a roof over your head, you're winning in life, honestly. We're happy in that. I, I don't need to impress no one, you know, walking down the street, I've got my own style, you know what I mean? You just have to walk with confidence, rock what you got. But that's part of the culture out here, people mm. don't care as much about what you drive and how you dress. We see people walking through markets all the time wearing yeah. pyjamas and all what, sorts of things. What do you want to see us do? Shop in Louis Vuitton in Emsphere or, you know, <laughs> what, what do you want? You know what I mean? Like, we are cheap Charlies in that, in that sense where you know, we'll, we'll go to the market and buy it a cheap t-shirt mm. but that t-shirt I'll, I'll wear for months yeah, but even when we lived in the condo which people would consider high so yeah. there was people in there that would go down to the vending machines in their pajamas at midday yeah. back in england you'd be called a slob for that you just gotta rock what you got be confident yeah. you don't really care what other people nobody, think nobody cares just, just be yourself anyway that's thailand <laughs> finish with the rants we're not saying come to Thailand, it's the best place in the world. We're not an advert for Thailand. No, Thailand's we, not for everyone. Yeah, Isan's not for everyone, but we yeah. enjoy it. We find enjoyment in little things. So we go to these little cafes, we can we can enjoy little nice things and we yeah. don't have to pay a lot to, to have enjoyment. And we, we are happy here, that's the bottom line, isn't it? So yeah. as you enjoy where you are, that could be anywhere. We're not here going, Thailand's the best, Thailand, come here, come here. Like, you choose your place. If you're I mean, happy places yeah. wherever, then go there. <laughs> For me, Thailand is the best. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I've, <laughs> I've been to enough countries in my lifetime. I don't know how, how many we say the other day. Between us, we've yeah. been to over thirty countries. Yeah, I've been to a few. And I, for me, Thailand is number one, without a doubt. I, in terms of pound for pound, in terms of <laughs> things to do, cost of living, people, culture, everything, Ooh. weather. Thailand is pound for pound best place I've ever been. So I might be biased because I am Thai. It's your home, isn't it? I have been to enough countries where I can you know, sort of make up my mind there. Obviously, I appreciate other cultures. I appreciate the European countries that I've been to. Like Malta, I, I enjoyed Malta, Mediterranean Sea, lovely food. But Thai food, for me, still tops it. I've been to quite a few places as mm. well. I've been to at least three continents, so I've seen quite a bit. And Thailand for me as well. It was our second trip abroad together after only seven months of being together. And honestly, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because I love Nat, but I want. I was in agreement with him. I would move to Thailand in a heartbeat because from the very first moment we started speaking, before we'd even met, Nat told me one day I'm moving back to Thailand. Yeah, I, I really planned on moving ages ago, like <laughs> 10 years before I met Camilla. <laughs> as soon as you moved here, you wanted yeah. to go back. But I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought, ah, yeah, we'll see what happens, maybe a retirement plan or whatever. And we went on that holiday and I was like, you know what? I could live here as well. Mm. Here we are. <laughs> do we miss England? What do we miss from England? What do you miss from England? And I'm not going to bash England in the slightest. England is my home and I love England. But at the moment, it's... Well, you know what England's like. But in terms of missing England, obviously obvious things, my friends, family, a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food? People always say like, oh, what's English cuisine? English don't really make anything, but if you- Chicken tikka masala. <laughs> but if you, when you've grown up there, especially in the countryside, I used to live in the countryside, and, you, and it's cold and it's wet and you have those home cooked meals that your mum or your grandma makes. There's nothing better. Like when it rains here, I want nothing more than a stew and dumplings or I don't know, a shepherd's pie. We made one the other day actually. Mm -hmm. Things like that, just things my mum used to cook, a Sunday roast. You get the taste for that. I know you can make things here, but it's not the same. Like sometimes I, all I want is to just go to my parents' house, have a cup of Yorkshire tea, and a nice hot meal, sat in front of the fire with my dogs. But that's home to me, but I've moved about seven times in the last seven years. Nowhere's really felt like home like that yet because I've not stayed there long enough. So this is why Sarin now is where we want to settle, isn't it? If you've moved seven times, I, mu <laughs> I must have moved about 20 times. No, I, you, I get about, I might be as in the last, a traveller. In the last seven years, we've only moved the same amount of places because that, that's yeah, how long we've been together. But before that, we moved, I don't know how many times. I'm a traveller. <laughs> yeah. I like to go to new places, you know. Like, you gotta, yeah. you got to see new places and, and live in that place for a certain amount of time before you can even have an opinion on that place. So. In that respect, Nat's really opened my eyes. I was a bit of a hermit before meeting Nat. 
never really used to go anywhere apart from go on holidays abroad and such but I never really saw much of the UK I never saw where I was even living mm. I've seen so much more of the UK being with Nat we used to go out all the time anywhere we used to just drive to Wales Scotland Yorkshire just either for a day trip or overnight uh, camping I'll put my little Google Maps thing <laughs> up because on Google if, if you're on your phone and you sign into Google Maps it tells you all the places yeah, you've been to. In for you, doesn't it? I'll, I'll show you all the places in the UK that I've been to. Honestly, it's, I, I battered the UK enough. And when people um, talk about England, like I don't think they really know where they live. Like some people don't know beyond their county. No, people don't travel about, and and they don't really understand that like, different cultures within the UK. Mm. So. But in that respect, I love England. England has got some of the most beautiful places in the world. Or the UK yeah. as a whole, like We've Wales been to some and Scotland. Nice holidays, haven't we? we have. Like, if you've ever been to the Isle of Skye, probably hands down the most scenic place I've ever been in the UK. Best place I've taken my civic mm, Isle of Skye. I was ripping it up there and in the hills. So we do like show the nice places in Thailand and stuff, and we're like, oh, this countryside, this and this, but. Mm. There is beauty in England as well. England does have an amazing countryside. Yeah, if you watch our early vlogs, we, we travelled about in some of those vlogs, you know. Yeah. We, we went, I think we showed the Isle of Skye, I don't know if we did or not. I don't know if we vlogged that or not, maybe. We did Scotland, I think, maybe. Yeah. So. We used to go out all the time. Sometimes I miss things like that, just get in the car, quick drive through Starbucks and go for a drive. But we do that here now. We stop at a coffee vendor and we just explore our mm. local area. And sometimes we do a few like long distance drives, but... Yeah, we go. That, that's why we go out in the sunny all the time because we used to do, go on drives mm. in England, and it used to cost us a fortune. You yeah, know, like fuel you, you fuel, fuel up your car, drive for a day, cost you a hundred quid to fuel up your car, and then like obviously buying coffee, ice cream while mm. you're out, fish and chips at the seaside or whatever. Yeah. It, it ends up being like a two hundred, <laughs> three hundred quid drive. But we do it quite often, you know. We like, like I say, money comes and goes. Like I, I would always spend my last penny. Mm. But the thing is, nowadays, that is equivalent. The money you'd spend going out and doing that is the equivalent of ordering a takeaway. So what would you mm -hmm. rather do? I'd rather go out and make, make sure I've, like, I've done something with my day. Yeah, I mean... Because in England, you just count down till the weekend's over and then it's back to work. It's, you've got that kind of depressing lifestyle in the UK. That's, that's what I don't miss. We're more free out here, aren't we? Yeah, we're just coming out here, you know. It's, it's better weather. I don't know, you just feel happier when it's sunny. Yeah. In England, I would say 80% of the time it's probably raining, so it, it gets you down after a while, you know, like when, when you're working in the winter and you don't see daylight for about four months, five months. And it, it's typical Pretty. that it would be bright sunny all the time you're at work, the weekend rolls around <laughs> and it's pouring with rain. And that, If that's not a mood killer, I don't know what is. It can't be helped. Mm. That's just the climate, but that's the life, isn't it? Yeah, I used to work in an office. At I didn't see anyone at work because I had my own office. I used to book trips out because I'm a sa I was a sales rep, so I'd go to different fish shops. I used to book trips out just so I can get outside. Mm. Otherwise, I'd just be stuck in. I'd be in for like four or five months in the winter and I'd just be, yeah, don't see daylight. You wake up at six, you have to like kind of defrost your car. Yeah. It's dark when you go to work, it's dark mm. when you get home. Like, to be honest, that's one thing I do miss. I do miss the seasons in England. Yeah, and sometimes I wish it was like... Cold. Just not cold, <laughs> but like a little bit cooler sometimes, mm. you know. Like, even, even at night, like if it just drops like to 20 degrees at night instead of 28, 30. I love nothing better than a big knitted jumper and fluffy socks and a mug of hot chocolate mm. or something. And I think that's the only thing. The about, coziness. Uh, like, it's, it's nice because it's hot and you get mm. the sun, but it's, sometimes it's you can't get away from that hot. Yeah. You unless you're in crave, the aircon, you know. Crave you know. the cold, but natural cold, yeah. Our, the aircon just doesn't, it's not the same feeling. It's, mm. There's nothing better than when you go outside and like, oh, it's a bit chilly. I need to go in and get my coat, yeah. actually. <laughs> I also don't miss working outside. No. In, in the uh, in the winter yeah when you when you've got to be out in the winter it's not nice but when you've got the choice mm. <laughs> but from where we came from our house in Wigan oh my god I've never been in a colder building in my life <laughs> difference in lifestyles is massive between you know Thailand and the UK and obviously we, we had a decent lifestyle in the UK yeah. you know we did quite a lot we traveled quite a bit and uh, you know we, we were middle class I would I would say we, we did we, all right. We were lucky enough that your job paid enough so that I could be at home with the kids. That's that's more important. Obviously, 
mm. as soon as the kids reach a year old I'm back in work that that's a given because we can't survive on that but we were lucky enough that we could get by mm. on just not working because the, uh, there's a lot of people that really can't you do need two incomes in a household especially if yeah, you've got nowadays, children like, it is tough it's expensive I think the average wage in the UK this is the median wage not not like average as a whole because the one the t- top 10 percent will just push it up mm. and it makes it unrealistic so the median wage in the uk is around twenty eight thousand, and realistically after twenty eight thousand after tax you're only taking home like 20k it's not enough it's not enough you know because a month's rent for most people in the uk probably 800 to a thousand pounds then your weekly shopping your monthly shopping your car tax car insurance the and rest your of your bills, bills. yeah it, it really does add up, especially like electricity now. Mm. The prices in the UK are ridiculous. And council tax and yeah, even so like your car premiums if you've got a vehicle. Like e- even one income on an average wage now is, to me, it's not enough. It's not enough to live comfortably. So that's the difference for us because, yeah. you know, I consider myself as having a, a decent average job. Um, we were fairly comfortable, but yeah. it, not as comfortable as this where we can post a couple of videos, I can be with the family, I can see the kids, and it pays the rent, you know, it it pays all the bills for us. So, yeah, I had a comment not too long ago saying, you know, you you can carry on with your Potsy YouTube, it won't last forever. We know it's not gonna last forever, but while it's here, why why not you know what i mean so why not make a couple of videos we enjoy it and rent? we like sharing what we're doing and we, yeah, it's good we memories were, for us we watch our old videos but like the ones in the uk yeah. it, it brings back memories you know and not just that but it's nice when we get messages saying we've inspired a lot of people to do similar things and we not, are, we are yeah. we've had a lot of people reach out to us not necessarily come to thailand specifically but just get out of their comfort zone try something different mm. make a move somewhere else and just give it a go we're not saying it's going to be a success not everybody's is no, you I'm might not like it but at least you can say you've realistically tried. we came here with no plans yeah and no savings let 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 that sink in like we had no plans no savings like you might call us stupid mm. but to me we're just doing the same as what we, we were doing in the uk you know in the uk we'd just be working yeah working to pay off bills just to get by but here we, we're trying to figure it out you know mm. we've we've got years on us we're young we move young so we knew what, we have got what the lifestyle we wanted to live here was and we knew what we needed to do to live that lifestyle and mm. we've been doing it behind the scenes like we've been getting things in order and now we're settling down this is what we would have yeah. been doing in the uk because before moving here we were going to get a mortgage mm. and then we would have been yeah. tied down and then that would have been our life paying that and both of us working kids in school 20 cetera, years 20 30 years that could have been i'm i'm so, i'm 100 percent happy with the choice that we made because we were we were like talking yeah. to mortgage advising we were this close to yeah. getting get a mortgage out in the uk and getting a house that's so. why to a lot of people they were thinking like oh that's a bit of a quick rash decision seem to be winging it to this degree and stuff but yeah, we are, sometimes we are you winging have it, you, know, to, we, you really have to no one really knows what they're doing in life but we are winging it we're trying to make it work we're doing enough to support the family the kids will be going to school soon we've got yeah. their documents sorted now all our documents are sorted everything's sorted yeah. legally which is you know the bit the big headache that, that you know comes with moving to thailand so We've sorted that, now it's time to knuckle down, figure out how we're gonna earn extra cash. Yeah. These videos obviously are good enough to pay the bills, pay the rent, but we need another way of earning extra cash where we can start saving mm. for our you know, long-term goals. Yeah, which is kids' future education, yeah. and buying our own land, a house, maybe if the business grows, thinking about that, we need to fund that, and et cetera, et cetera. Just yeah. long-term plans. You gotta throw enough stuff at the wall until something sticks. You know, you gotta try things. Don't don't be afraid to try things. I I think I I don't mean this in any way, shape, or form against like all the oldies. But I think you know, back a day, going down the pension route is fine. You know, it's a secure way of coming to Thailand and you know, living comfortably. But did you see that? (laughs) I don't know if you can see that. Big old feet. I need to grow up. (laughs) Anyway. You gotta understand from our perspective, pension for us is forty years away. I think the pension age now is like sixty eight, sixty seven. And it's not which is almost forty years away. It's not as guaranteed for us because you know, they want to privatise everything in the UK now and whatnot. But mm. 
we don't know what's going to be if the pension's going to be something when we get to that age and like it's not guaranteed for us so no but anyway you know 40 years away is a long time it's longer than the life that we've already lived so we're 30 years old now so do we do i want to work until i'm 40 to be able to so reach pension 40. age uh, for another 40 years to reach pension age where i can live my life comfortably no i don't not not for another 40 years no. not where i don't see my kids don't watch them grow up i'd rather move out here and try and make it work yeah. and i've got that means i've got 40 years until i reach pension age so in that 40 years i've got time to make enough money so yeah. i know with the way the internet is now online shopping and all that there's there's ample opportunities and I could make more in that 40 years than my pension's worth yeah. so you know that that's that's the route that we're going to go down at the end of the day times have changed and they're always changing mm -hmm. so I mean don't get me wrong don't get me wrong if I'm 65 and I got a few years left for my pension I'll, I'll be back in England and I'm mm -hmm. finishing my you know my working age until I get to that pension or like if I had five, ten years left, I'd still be working. Mm. Of course I would. I'm not stupid, you know what I mean? But I'm not. I'm 30 <laughs> and I'm, I'm very far away. That's what you have to understand. It's two-sided coins and you have to flip the coin and see where we're coming from. And, you know, we're out here now. We're enjoying it and we're trying to make it work. So. And also, if it doesn't work, I don't see us as a failure if we were to go back to the UK. Oh, we've got loads of you know, memories. Like you said, we're still 30. Just go back into employment and graft again. It's I'll get a is. job, no problem in the yeah. UK. No, I'll go in straight into a job, rent a house out, and we're back to normal. Yeah. Probably get a mortgage within the, like five years. But the main so. reason for moving here was obviously the, the, the obvious things, cost of living, weather, blah, blah, blah. But to spend time as a family, because if me and Nat went back to full-time work, the kids are in the school, like, what life is that? I know that's the choice that a lot of people, ha that's the life yeah. they have to I mean, live. Like that is life, isn't it? It's but up to you, you know, like, because th there's people out there that don't have a choice, don't have yeah. a, you know, they haven't got a place in Thailand where they yeah. can move to or they haven't got the means to move to Thailand. Oh, yeah, that's, we that's were fair extremely enough. fortunate, yeah, very, very lucky know, and very I, grateful. I'm Thai, we had land, we had enough money to fly out and we made it, we, we're trying to make it work. Yeah. But some people aren't that fortunate, which I understand, yeah. you know, but I'm, all I'm saying, if, if you can, you would, yeah. wouldn't you? Mm. So, yeah, that, that's that. Right, so I think that's, that's long enough for now. I know there's a lot of questions that needs to be answered, but we are thinking about doing a Q&A yeah. uh, or a live stream. So if you have any questions, you know, leave it in the comments and we'll do another video where we answer your questions and, yeah. and we'll say, you know, we'll, we'll speak the truth. Just to connect with a few of you as well, because I know some of you have been with us for a long time now. Yeah, we've never done a live stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've done a few, you yeah, know, I'm not, yeah. you, you've never been on a live stream. Well, we've we've either been on the farm with the Wi-Fi and the rain and everything and the kids, we're all in one room and then the same at the condo, it wasn't yeah. really. But now that we're in a house and we've got some more space, we'll sit down and we'll connect with some of you and have a chat and... Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. go live, it'd be fun. But yeah, leave your questions in the, in the comments and... Hopefully we'll either post our video or we'll, we'll do a Q and A yeah. live stream kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know which one you prefer. But this was just sort of a catch up video. Now that we're settled, how are we feeling? And this is no by no means a pro Thailand or an anti England thing. Like we're very happy in both countries, but we're happier here, and that's where we're saying for now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean everyone has their own opinions. Everyone's yeah. different. Um, we're currently very happy here. Uh, we don't have too much stress, and yeah, that, that's that's about it. You know, like we we just want to say, you know, we're, we're grateful, grateful yeah. for what you have. You know, sometimes you have to be grateful. A lot of people don't have this opportunity that we have, and we understand that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're we're just plodding along, you know, Taking trying it to day by day. <laughs> trying to get by. Not trying to get by, you know. We we're doing all right. We we're. Fi something. figuring things out for the you know the longer longer term goals so we'll get there we'll get there anyway hope you enjoy this little discussion or whatever <laughs> what do, what do we want to call this hopefully video hopefully not a rant hopefully you didn't come no. across as a rant we were just having a chat yeah i mean you know, you know like to speak our mind. To rant. <laughs> yeah. Every, everyone should be able to free think and yeah. have their own opinions I formulate agree. their their own opinions and you know not everyone has to agree with you That's no but I would just say one thing is
take time to see where someone else is coming from before you mm. just jump straight in with two feet with your whatever you think. You, like Nat said, free thinking, free speech, by all means. But sometimes you have, have to take a step back and just try and assess how someone else might view things. I have a no block policy on the native <laughs> Farang channel. I've not blocked one single person. So I really you're, wish. you're all allowed your opinions on our channel, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end it here. They leave the comments in the description. Leave, leave the <laughs> leave your questions in the comments That's below the one. <laughs> and we'll get back to you with either a video or a live stream or web we decide to do yeah and watch out for tomorrow's video because we're going to announce the little startup business that that we've been working on in the background so very excited for that it's a new chapter for us it's a, a new journey a new venture so nervous anxious but also very excited we've worked hard for it so. very proud you've worked yeah. very hard yeah so Keep an eye out for tomorrow's video and we'll see you then.